What's good gang? I hope everybody is fantastic and enjoying this holiday season. I hope you've all had a good Christmas or festive time now, however you celebrate it. And we'd like to say a big thanks as well. We felt so blessed that we could not only share our Christmas day with you guys, but the fact, the amount of love and well wishes and the nice comments we got from you guys around our Christmas. Feeling very, very lucky. So for today, Jamie, she's gone off to a Disney park, which leaves me, Katie, Sam and Jojo. We're going to go out and do something fun all together because today is a Wednesday and that can only mean one one thing. So yes, Dave and Busters, this is where we come every Wednesday without fouls because Wednesdays is half price day. So you get the most out of your money. And every time we've come here, we've, we've got a little mission in mind. Last time we came here, we came here for five weeks. We spent a lot of time and money and on fun at Dave and Busters because they've got some amazing prizes you can get from the tickets. And there's one game in particular, a Wizard of Oz game, which some people... I'm obsessed. He's no, obsessed with it. I'm you, obsessed with it. He's only found out about it this year. He didn't even know about it last year. But now time. I'm obsessed with it. And now he's obsessed with it. Now he's on my team. Everyone's on it. We, we can't get on it. I know. You've walked up a few times and just had a like, look at me all sad face. I think you've got a problem with that game. Last time we were here, it was hard to get her off there. And I saw her. She said, I'm just going to the toilet. She went to the toilet and then she came out of the toilet. She didn't walk back to us. She went looking at the machine again. It's a very good game and it, we do accumulate a lot of tickets out of it. But that's our mission. We're coming here every Wednesday. We're playing that game and various other games, building up points. And we pull all of our points together as a family and try and get something as a present for a family. Last time, we decided to focus it all towards Sam because it was near his birthday and we got him. It was an iPhone touch kind of thing. There's some really good things in there that some people have got their eyes on already but I guess it's the point of that you pay to play, have lots and lots of fun and at the end of it get a prize for your fun. And then at the same time your wife develops an addiction. It's weird because I'm not normally addicted to things. Anything, I no. I don't get addicted to things but like I actually go to sleep thinking about it. And what was worse last time everyone would be counting the cards and the coins and the chip and then all of a sudden it would be uh, oh let's play poker with these as well it's like another addictive game but it's good anyway it's a good place to come and have fun the only hard thing is jojo wants to play all of the games where you don't win tickets and you don't want to deny him the fun but at the same time you think i, I want this to go towards something so let's go in and have more fun can't deny him look at his face look at him <laughs> I guess I'll be off then. Oh, kicking a six year old boy off the stool, are we? Dog coming to my one, and now she wants it. We're in this together, you know that. 
You look like you've had an eventful day. You over there. How did you pull yourself away from that machine? This is to add on what we've already got, right? Jojo, you're going to get a balloon animal, mate. <laughs> That's quite a pouch, you're very well prepared. Jojo, should we go and see what prizes we can get? What do you want then, Jojo, to win with your tickets? You want one of those? How many tickets is it? It's, it's 700, but we got 1,000. Look, that's me today, that's me. You're the one that pushed me off the seat. This is me. Should be cheetah. This is without a doubt the best arcade there ever is for prizes. But you can get all of the little knick-knacky things you get in the arcade. And then you've got lots of big prizes as well, like games consoles and things like that. So that's why we want to pull all our tickets together to maybe get one big prize that we can all share and enjoy. I managed to drag her out away from that machine. Did you have fun, dear? I was just about to say, it's warm out here. Because in there, I don't know why they do it in places in Florida, but they overcompensate with the aircon. But this, look around. This is the real world. Come back to it now. Come on. We're going to go and have some food. That's why you wear the hoodie, though, isn't it? In there, it is. It's like aircon insurance for you, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I normally wear trainers as well. We've got to get the scarf back for these places. I don't know why they have to overcompensate with the aircon. Right, we're at Sweet Tomatoes. You ready to go? Yeah! Oh, I'm ready! This dog, by the way. Have we got a name for this dog? Pokey. What do you think his name should be? Can't play. Oh, you put it out to the gang, are you? Yeah. That's how the things in the world gang. get resolved nowadays. We can rely on the gang. You in guys have bay sorted bay us out. So yes, comment below. This dog, what name? Oh, you guys are responsible for Aragog. Now you have to be responsible for naming the dog. There's only one problem. What? The, that dog will be popped before the video goes out. Oh. It will. No! It will! He actually called the dog no, Pokey at first. Won't. God, that's an omen. Pokey! Just call it Bursty. <laughs> Poppy. Pokey! Pokey! Should we go and have some lunch then? Yeah. You're probably wondering, you guys, why we come to this place so much. It's just because it's a very clean and healthy buffet. And Bob, it's very. We've only been to it twice. This is the only restaurant they've seen, though. But we've only yeah. been here twice. Yeah, but this is three times. A lady. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you like a bit of Lionel, didn't you? Yeah, it's just because it's really close to us. It's really clean and healthy. It's and it's good value as well. Yeah, it? very good value. And it's, yeah, buffet. It's good quality. Good. Caroline, la la la, sweet tomatoes, la la la. Don't ask. Do not ask. Look, look what I'm doing. He went ahead and left me. Jojo. <laughs> you can't leave any of this now. Ah, uh, yeah. Sell the buffet 101. You have to be very, very strategic with how you put the stuff on the plate. Balance it out. Hard stuff to the sides. Keeps everything contained. It acts like walls. I tell you, I don't give you guys anything for free. Even distribution is also advised. How are we doing, deserter? I'm jumping in front. Looking good, Jojo. A lot of good colour in there. Yours looks a mess. Jojo's looks all nice and neat. How dare you? Well done, Jojo. Mine looks perfect. Oh, oh yeah. no, that's a flipping mess. Look at that. Oh, how do you know? I was giving the gang a 101 in Salad Buffet balancing on the plate and they all said it was great. Yes, boss man. Don't need to me. I'm going to be really careful. I nearly dropped it there. What, what, what? The dog came with? Yeah. So you can pop, eh? Call yourself an animal lover. Balloon animals count. There's another place where they take the aircon very seriously, isn't it? Yeah. I'm not going to lie, I'm in my t-shirt now and I'm like, I want to go outside. They need oh. outside seating, didn't they? People would take it home, though, wouldn't they? Take the outside seating. No, they take the food home. We'll take the outside seating home. If you wanted to take it home, you can take it home anyway. We've well, got enough space in our booth. It's all there. Yeah, let's take some of these chairs. It's the buffet, all you can take, right? You're enjoying that, man, yeah? Yeah. He wanted more pasta. He even said he's going to be the waste bin for the pasta. Whoa, 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 whoa. There's only one bin in this family. Thanks very much. Daddy does bin. Not no. Jojo. No, well, that's not got alliteration, though, is it? We spoke to them about some, like, providing some different options, and they just made us a pasta with some marinara sauce. And Jojo is devouring. Jojo the devourer. Put any marinara pasta in front of him, and it will be instantly removed. I can see you bouncing around. You hiccuping. Yeah. <laughs> 
Let me see. I want to see you jolt with a hiccup. Come on. Tell them what you say to me when I hiccup. I say hickles. I'm, I'm all about equality, yeah? When people like sneeze and get bless you and stuff like that. And I said, well, what's going to be said when someone hiccups? This was like eight years ago you started this. Yeah. It's been going. When someone sneezes, you say bless you. When someone hiccups, you say hickles. Yeah. What about when someone farts? <laughs> Um, good on you. Jojo's favourite songs come on. You like a bit of cold play, don't you? How cool would it be, everyone, when like everyone in a restaurant, if a song comes on that they like, that they got up and just dance? Imagine what restaurants would look like. All of this. Then. That'd be it, man. Oh, look, another bread delivery. You might as well be a baker. So just to summarise what our afternoon has consisted of, we had some Dave and Busters, and then we had some really nice food in. And I'm thinking, yep, yeah, we're going to go back to the hotel, and we're going to settle down. And then this one drops a certain bombshell on me. What did you say? I want to go back to Dave and Busters. You want to go back? What's wrong with that? The fact you've just picked up a cup to hide behind as well shows everything. She's not hiding behind it. Why do you have to get involved every time? Look. <laughs> Okay, I think we have to be honest with you, me and the gang. We feel that you've got a problem. We're hit for you though, because you're, you're going to want to go back and play that one game, aren't you? The Wizard of the Wild game. Do you know what? It's so satisfying though. You load up the card when you go in there with however much you want, and then you use these credits to buy coins, which then push loads more coins, and loads of cards, and chips, and loads of stuff, and it all falls down, and it's just so satisfying, and I don't know what it is. I, I think I might have got a problem. Is this the thing? Can people be addicted to like these kind of games? To be fair, I, I wouldn't have passed this in the picture because you'll walk away today. You're only going half price day. It would more. be worse if I went on the days when it was full price. Yeah, I think it's important we address that. There are actual genuine addictions that people have with gaming and it does ruin lives. We know people who have done it with yeah. gambling, gaming as well. So yeah, it's a serious thing. For any of you that may actually feel like that, it's something to keep tabs on, isn't it? Yeah, I feel like I have got the control though. I'm not going to come on holiday just no. to play the game. If we lived here, then I'd be, we'd be in trouble. So you do want to go there then? Genuinely. Don't look ahead like you. It's your birthday next week, so this could be your present. Ooh, no! <laughs> My Too late. Done. So we are back at the hotel room. I managed to convince Katie that we did not need to revisit Dave and Buster's this evening. So we just thought we'd come back. And these guys, I guess you needed a hit in some way. So they're going to count out all of the chips and all of the cards that we have so far. Right, come, let's do this. So this is the extent of our haul so far. There's much work to be done. Did going through that give you some satisfaction? Yeah, let me explain. All of these are worth 20 points. They're in piles of 200. So each line is worth 1,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14,000 in all of these. These Wizard of Oz cards are worth 50 points each. But if you have a set of them, you get 2,000 points. So Dorothy, Tim, man the lion scarecrow the witch the good witch yes. and total these are the most rare ones and i can't believe we got three in one day a whole set is worth 2,000 points. So we've got three whole sets. But we've got loads and loads of Dorothy's and Tin Men and Good Witch. These ones are from the same game, but like with the, a Star Trek theme. The Dragon Across the Universe. But I don't like that one as much. <laughs> I don't know why. It doesn't have a fun theme song for you to sing along to, right? I reckon we've got 20 to 30,000. Do one. you count the cards as well? Maybe you could start up your own Wizard of Oz machine dedicated channel. Yes! Co Comment below who would subscribe to Katie's Wizard of Oz dedicated channel. Can I do it? All right, and I'll, I'll pick them up, so. Serious one, business. Two. The mother has influenced the son. Uh, you're not doing it how I told you to do it. What? How do I have one? <laughs> the seriousness of this. Can anyone tell me when about I will get my son and wife back? <laughs> At least we're not playing poker. Have we even got a pack of cards? <laughs> Light bulb above Sam's head. So that's the end of our day and Jamie is home. She has returned from Disneyland, ears intact and everything. Looking exactly like Disney Minnie World. Oh, World Land, <laughs> Disney makeup. Planet, Disney Plane. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you have, guys. And if you're new to this channel, we'd love if you subscribed and followed the madness, which is our current holiday. And go follow my channel. Yes, Jamie has a channel. Young one, well, you better start making videos then. Yeah. Then leave your comments below. Let us know what you think about this video. If you've enjoyed the Christmas period so far, what things you've been up to. We love reading your comments and we love responding where possible. So thanks so much, guys, and we will see you in the next video. Peace out. Yeah.
No. 